Hi, this is Shreng Siddharth once again. Welcome to the next module of this Kotlin programming series. Now, in the previous two modules, we learnt about the lambdas, high-level functions and collections. Now, what are the practical usage of lambdas and high-level functions as well as collection? How can we use all these three together? Let's check it out in this module. So, with the help of filtering and sorting, we will check out how can we use the lambdas and high-level functions inside the collections. So in this module, let us check out what are the topics that we will cover. So first, we will check out the various important functions such as filter and map. Now these are the two very important methods that are frequently used with collections and lambdas. And now proceeding forward, we will check out what are predicates in Kotlin. Now a predicate in short is just a condition that returns true or false. So inside the predicate, we will check out all, any, count and also find predicate. Now at the end, we will check out few more functions such as a flat map and also distinct. So this module will basically cover all the operations that you can perform on the collections along with lambdas. Now in this video, let us check out what are filter and map in case of Kotlin. So first of all, let's check out what is a filter. Now the filter method actually filters out the desired results from a particular collection or list. So if you want some elements based on some condition, then you can simply use filter to get the desired elements from a particular list. Now similarly, we have map function. Now suppose you want to perform some operation on some desired elements. So you can use map method and simply perform some operation and also you can modify the elements. So this map will simply return the elements in the modified form. So inside the IntelliJ IDE, at the top, I've simply defined the definition of the filter and also map, right? Now inside the main method, I've simply defined the list of numbers. Now this is actually the immutable list. That is, you cannot modify it later. So the type of my numbers will be list of integer values, right? Now, down the side, let us perform some operation on this list of numbers and get the desired results. Such as, let us separate out the small numbers. My small numbers equal to use my numbers here. And now, use the dot operator followed by filter method. Now, if you notice here, this filter method is actually expecting a lambda as a first parameter. So you can simply define a lambda. Now this lambda here, it shows a predicate. Now the predicate is actually a condition that simply returns a boolean value. So in our case, it will simply take integer as a value and simply return the boolean value, either true or false. So if the condition is true, it will simply return a particular element and store it inside our new list, right? So here I will simply use filter followed by the lambda function. So here curly bracket open and close. So inside this, let us define our lambda. So here I will simply define my, let's say variable v goes to, let's say v smaller than 10. So this statement will simply return a new list containing all the elements whose values are smaller than 10. So in our case, we have two, three, four and six. So these are the four elements who that are smaller than 10, right? So down the side, I will simply print out the value by using the for loop. So this is the for loop to print out the values. So let us now run the code. So here we get two, three, four and six in a new list. So this filter method actually returns a new list containing the numbers that satisfy this condition v smaller than 10, right? So this is actually the predicate, right? Now, instead of using v going into v smaller than 10, here we have just one parameter. So it can be replaced by it, that is it, it smaller than 10. So instead of using v going into v smaller than 10, you can simply write it smaller than 10. So here, let me write the comment line, right? So either of these two, you can write here, it smaller than 10 or v going into v smaller than 10. Now this v can be num as well. It is totally up to your wish because it is a variable name, right? Now down the side, let us now explore the map. Now the map actually returns a list containing the results of the applying transform. So when we are using the map, 
Suppose I want to get the square of all these numbers. So for that, what I will do, I will simply use the map method that simply expects a lambda as a parameter like we have in case of filter. So down the side, let us use val my squared numbers equal to my numbers that is our original list dot map right now here again you can notice the map actually expects a lambda now here we have a transform so what transformation that you want to apply on the current list that is my numbers so for that what I will do I will simply define the lambda function inside which I will simply write let's say num going into num into num right so this is the parameter and this is actually the value that we are getting inside the list so for each element this is actually applicable so when this code will be executed we will get 2 square 3 square 4 square and so on till 90 square now instead of this you can also use it operator or the keyword it asterisk it because we are just having one parameter of num so this is actually the alternative to that so here let me write the comment line so both are actually same right now let us now print the result by using the for loop so simply copy this for loop and down the side let us print the values by simply changing the list by my squared nums right and now let us run the code so here in the output console for the second loop we have the output as 4, 9, 16, 36, 529 and 8100. So these are actually the squared form of our original list, this one. And this is the output of the previous for loop. So please don't confuse about it. Now if you notice the variable of my small nums and also my squared nums, let us check out what is the data type of this. So simply press Alt Enter and specify type explicitly. So here we get list of integer values, right? So this filter function simply returns the list of integer values that satisfy this condition. So whatever, so all the numbers that satisfy it smaller than 10 will be stored inside this list. Now similarly, here, here this map function simply returns the transformed data that is the square of all the numbers and store it inside my squared nums. Now proceeding forward in Kotlin we can use the filter function and also the map function all together. Now suppose you want to filter out some data and then you want to find the square of all the numbers. So for that you, you can simply define a new list let's say my small squared nums equal to my numbers that is the original list dot filter so here let us define let us copy this lambda and paste it here and then you can simply use the dot operator dot map and then find it asterisk it right now here let me comment these two for loops so as to get the better output and now let us use the for loop here to print out the result so here what we are actually doing is when this statement will be executed we are simply filtering out all the data that satisfy this condition it smaller than 10 right and then on the filtered result we are simply applying the transformation that is we are simply finding out the square of numbers. Now for this let us format our codes to make our code more cleaner so dot filter and then apply dot map method let us now run the code. So here in the output console we get the square of all the numbers that are smaller than 10. So we are getting the square of 2, 3, 4 and 6. 23 and 90 are actually excluded at this step, right? So after this step we are applying the square of the numbers available. So this was all about the filter and map. Now let me give you one more example. So for this I will simply define a class of person. So here I have a class of person that simply has the property of age and name, right? So inside the main method, I will simply write some code in order to make your concept more clear. So I will simply define the list of person. So here I have two objects, person 
person of the age of 10 and name Shriyang, person of the age of 23 and name Annie. Now let us define one more person and give the age as let's say 17 and name as let's say Sam, right? Now on the left hand side, let us assign it to let's say people. List of person equal to people. Now this people is actually of the type of list of person, right? So no doubt till now. So even if you remove it, then also our code will work perfectly fine. Now down the side, how can we apply the filter and also map on this people list? So now suppose from this list of person, I just want to print out all the names that is stored inside the people list. So for that, I will simply use, let's say people dot map. So here I will simply use, let's say person P going into, let's say, p dot name right now since this is only one parameter here so we can simply replace it by it so no doubt till now and again assign it to some let's say names equal to people dot map so this map method will simply apply the transformation and simply return all the names present inside the people that is Shriyank, Annie and Sam will be stored inside the names let us now print the names so here is the for loop for that. So let us now run the code. So here we go in the output console we get Shriyank, Annie and Sam. And now suppose you want the list of names along with you want only the names that starts with S, right? So for that again you have to use dot filter operator. So what I will do is I will simply use dot filter that simply expects a lambda. So for that I will simply use person going into person dot name dot starts with and here I will simply pass capital S now again since we have only one parameter here so it can be replaced by it it and now let us run the code so here we go in the output console we have shrink and Sam we don't have Annie here because Annie starts with A and we just want to filter out the results that starts with S, right? So here, let me format the code as well so as to make our code look more cleaner. So dot filter and then apply dot map. So this was all about the filter method and also the map method. Now remember, these are the most important methods that we will be using in our upcoming videos as well. So as of now, thanks for watching and have a good day. Thank you.